to Thrifty Southerner back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope y'all had an awesome week. I had a great week. Um, thrift store shopping when I was out of town was okay. Found a lot of stuff for our family. Not a lot of stuff for you guys. But I did manage to go to a couple thrift stores when I got back and I did find a few things. So let's get started. First, I will start with the things that I'll be keeping for our family as I usually do. Number one, actually I'm on the fence about whether or not I'm going to keep it. It is a Michael Kors dress. We went to a thrift store and it was fill a bag for $15. So I'll show you everything I put in the bag. So it was this really cute Michael Kors dress. Also got for my daughter, also in the bag, this little dress. I'd actually picked out several things for myself and those three things were gonna equal more than $15. So I just went ahead and put those in a bag and then just picked up a bunch of stuff that was basically free for my daughter. So got her these jeggings, super cute. These little summer shorts. This cute little top for next winter or fall. So got this little dress, pleated. Don't know what the Tease me, just a little, probably a junior's brand. Just a t-shirt for me. Actually, that's back, no, is that the back? No, that's the front, yeah. So a little cute t-shirt. And also, I'm on the fence about this one as well. I think I probably am gonna keep it for our trip that we're about to take. Um, we are going on a Norwegian cruise through the fjords, and so I thought I could wear this to dinner one night with some slacks. It, I don't know if y'all can see, it's, it's got like a layer of uh, sequins underneath it. It's Ellie Tahari. So those are the things that I got in the bag for $15. And I went to, was it Uptown Cheapskate? They were all in a row. It was Uptown, no, not Uptown Cheapskate. It was Plato's Closet and then, um, what's the other one? Um, hmm. Anyway, they were having a dollar sale there. I believe just these two things. The first thing is this really cute sweater. It is Rockin' Republic. It's got some little studs on it. Just a cream sweater. That was a buck. And then, I'm not sure that I'm gonna end up wearing this, but it was a buck, so it's a little pen, short pencil skirt. I got these because they were a dollar too. Then my husband got this Cremo shirt at one of those places, Plato's Closet or one of them. Also got this Thaddeus shirt at, I don't remember, maybe at, it, that may have been in that $15 bag. Our two things were in that $15 bag too and they just got detached from stuff. So this was also in that bag for $15 for my daughter. And then, I don't know where the other one is, but we got her these little tennis shoes. Super cute. Then I went to our Uptown Cheapskate and they were having a sale. And so I got a few dresses for myself. This was half off of $13.99. So this was like seven bucks. Cute little altered state dress. This one I don't think was on sale. This one was not on sale, but it was 14. It's Everly. Just a cute little casual summer dress. So my husband said this one looks like a nightgown, but I really like it. It was half off of $9.99, so it was only five bucks. And I plan on wearing it to church this weekend. So I thought it was really cute. I got this one to wear to a what my cousin's wedding this uh, two weekends from now. It was 15. That's another altered state dress. Soup's cute. And then my daughter was trying on the dresses that I had tried on, and so she really, really wanted a dress from there. So I said, "Honey, wait, they don't have your size, but let me go look at the extra, extra smalls." Fourteen dollars, and she freaking loves it. It's for her to play in. It's the, uh, I don't, I can't remember what you call this. Mermaid sequins where they, they're black on one side and then they're mermaid on this. 
And it's super cute on her. It, it, she like, she has been playing in it, so. Let's see. So anyway, for seven bucks, it appeased her. I found uh, at one of my Goodwills, these Mucklucks. I believe I'll be keeping these. They are a size 10, I think. But I can wear a 10. Mucklucks are the mode. I don't know. I might end up selling them. If anybody's interested, y'all ask. I know it's off season for stuff like this, but they're super cute. They're like pretty much brand new. The felt's not even worn off of them. And then they were having manager special half off their apparel. So I got this little shirt. Uh, it's like a button up. I should have buttoned it, but it's a button up. <coughs> this is super cute. It's still got the tag on it from the Express. This was half of whatever their sweaters are. No, I think their sweaters are seven something and their shirts are like five something. So that was like two, two fifty, three dollars, whatever. And then this, and then this is this slouchy sweater that's super cute that zips up or down. And then I also got this really cute sweater. It is Joe Fresh. If y'all can hear kids screaming, my daughter is out front playing with her neighbor friend. I also, same place, got this real cute H&M top. So I should be good to go for long sleeve stuff that I can layer for our trip because it should be between 30 and 55 degrees while we're there. And I'm from the South, that's cold. So I'll be bundling up for our entire trip. I also at the same store got these and I'm gonna soak them in Oxy and hopefully the stains will come out. These are a nine and a half. They're exactly my size. They are Tom's really cute floral pattern and they say Le Vies Belle on the side. So hopefully they've got something spilled on them though. So hopefully I can get that out. They were $4 as well, which I was kind of like, ah, but then I was like, I'm sure that'll come out with Oxy. Then while we were out of town, I also got these little guys for my daughter. They are some Sam Edelman flats, super duper cute in maybe new condition they look brand new you know how stuff is for kids like you buy it and then they never end up wearing it so super cute i think they were 10 bucks last but not least for the stuff we're keeping i got this le creuset baking dish really nice it was 4.99 this matches the le creuset stuff that i have and i was excited about that for 4.99 now to the stuff that I will be selling and let me just say before we get started if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it helps me so so much and if you're interested in any of these items you can join my Facebook group and inquire about an item it is right here if you're not a Facebooker you can email me and here's my email but I will tell you that it is quickest to join my Facebook group. This thing is not something that I actually bought this weekend. It's something I got, if you guys watched my video a few months ago, my sister did a coach sale. I went down and helped her clean out her closets and she sold a whole bunch of coach. And um, I took a purse from her that I thought I was gonna use and I have not used it. And so I think I need to let someone else love it. And she had never used it either. So it is brand new, really pretty. A nice little small tote. I think I used it one time, but she said she had never used it. So at my local Goodwill and happened upon this guy and recognized it immediately as a vintage Michael Kors. Super awesome. Right here, he, uh, he used to silver plate all of his stuff. So this should all, yeah. I mean, look at the detail. There's even a little Michael Kors stamped onto the corner. This is all silver plate, so it will shine up. It's just tarnished. I personally feel like these are better quality bags than his stuff now. I, I like his stuff now, but I think that these bags were higher quality, just personally. Big chunky zipper. It's a beautiful green. Um, here's the interior. And it's got feet. 
you can see Michael Kors on these guys. And it's in great condition. There's one little spot right here I just noticed where some glazing has come off, but you can just touch that up with edge coat, which you can buy on Amazon. And the other side is fine. Well, I'll take that back. There's a couple little areas right here up at the top where that edge coating is kind of peeling a little bit. Other than that, it's in great condition. It does have one little rubbing, rubbed mark here. I did condition it right there. But that's on the backhand side to be expected with a vintage bag. You know, there are some little scrapes and whatnot on it. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Again, you've got Michael Kors on the sides. Anyway, I believe I paid $3.99 for that. Um, there are some strings coming out of this. They just need to be clipped. That's all. They've just worked their way out. Okay, so reserve your opinion of these until I tell you that I'm going to clean them. These are... The extreme high top, knee high, I guess you'd call them, Converse All Stars. They're in great condition as far as wear goes, but somebody got spray paint on the toe. They're both like that, but I'm thinking that a magic eraser might take that off. I did pay four bucks for them. I'm willing to take the gamble for that because they're in excellent condition. Other than that, so at the Goodwill for half off, I found this super duper cute. Urban Outfitters brand. Um, it's Silence and Noise. It's a small, really, really cute, stretchy dress. It's got a cutout in the back. Super duper cute. It was $3 or something. I also found at That Goodwill this really pretty sack. It's in excellent condition. These always sell really well for me. They're great bags. This is like a faux snake skin. Really nice, it's in great condition. The only thing I don't see, and I don't know if it even came one, is it with one is it doesn't have the hang down the sack tag, but I'm not sure that this style, I don't, I'm not sure that they all come with that. Could be crossbody, it looks like somebody's got it up as a shoulder bag, but it could definitely be a crossbody. I believe that's what it's made to be. You've got your shoulder thing, and I paid $4 for it as well. Typical sack interior. Very nice. Three different colors of brown, I think, or two at least. Yeah, two, and then the snake skin. And this front pocket actually zips, which is pretty cool. So you could put your phone in here and zip it, and it's secure, or whatever you wanted to put in here, and it wouldn't just flap open. And the last, and the thing that I was most excited about, and really sad that it was not in my size, is um, at... One of the consignment stores that they were having a sale, I think it was my local Uptown Cheapskate. I think it was. It doesn't say on the tag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uptown Cheapskate. They were doing the half off. And so, I ran across this beautiful black Tory Burch sweater. It's in excellent condition. With sweaters, I usually raise the sides to see, like, is there any pilling where the arm rubs? No, there isn't. It is gorgeous, but it is a size small, and it will not fit me. 20 and then half of 20 so I got it for $10. I was super excited about that because it is gorgeous. All right, you guys, that was my haul, and it looks like I had a lot of people comment that they would like to see some blogs from our trips, so I will try to film as many of those as I can and um, probably publish them all when I get back. Uh, we'll see how much I can incorporate, and I don't, my dad and stepmom are also going with us, and I don't know if they wanna be on film or anything like that, but I'll try to get at least a little bit of footage. I think it would be fun to do. So um, I'll also try to get some footage on the ship so y'all can see what the ship looks like. All right, you guys, uh, I hope everyone has an amazing week, and until next time, I'll keep it thrifty.